All right, guys, this morning, I'm going to make my remarks upon paying attention to the red flags. You know what I'm talking about? Those set of circumstances that uh, you find yourself in, warning signs pop up, and all of your spidey senses tell you that you should not proceed, or at least you should pause to think about what you're potentially headed for, and reassess and maybe reevaluate and uh, form another plan of action. Okay, but all too often we don't do this, do we? I don't care who you are, how confident you may be, what your personality is, everybody struggles with this at some point or another, you know, uh, and, and we still make mistakes. And it really doesn't come to, down to a matter of confidence, and it, it sometimes it's just a matter of a lapse of judgment, you know, sometimes we're just simply not paying attention. Now, I pulled over this morning into a bank parking lot to make my comments on this because I, I was on my way to a BioLife appointment and I can't be too early. They don't allow us to be any more than 10 minutes early or 10 minutes late. So here I am in what, what bank is this? Oh, Suncoast Credit Union, okay? I, I know it probably looks a little suspicious because it's a Sunday morning and it's not open and you have a few stragglers going through the drive-thru or up to the front to use the ATM, but other than that, I'm by myself. This is not unlike the anecdote that I'm about to share with you, all right? So what I, wanna, what I wanna say first before I give it to you is you need to learn to pay attention to the red flags. You might be facing, you might be, you might be facing a new relationship. It might be a younger man or woman who is, who is um, considering prospects and you go out on these dates and you see things you don't like, but you know you want to be with somebody. You know you want companionship. You know you want a long-term relationship and you might want something so bad that you have a lapse in judgment. Or perhaps you're older and divorced and you're, you're, you're facing dating again for the first time. But this is not just about that. You might be looking at a business deal, buying a new car, um, taking out a loan, for something, you have to weigh all the options that you're being given. You might be developing new friendships. You might just be uh, considering where you want to go today, where you want to take a vacation. It doesn't matter. Anything, any scenario wherein you find options, you're going to find red flags pop up when you consider all of them. But you have to learn to pay attention to them and trust your own judgment. Okay? And if you don't, you might find yourself in a position that you can't get yourself out of. And you, you, you might have to you might have to deal with circuit with uh, consequences that at the at the best are temporary and at the worst are permanent. Okay, so think about that. Think about that. Now here's a here's a little anecdote that I read last night in this book, and it comes from 1956. This is what was reported in that year. It's about a man with a um, with a questionable alibi, and it takes place in Burnaby. British Columbia. All right, listen to this. It says in Burnaby, British Columbia, charged with intent to commit a crime after he was caught sitting in his car in front of a bank with the plates covered and the motor running. John A. Martin, 50, explained to police, he wore dark glasses because he suffered from snow blindness, wore a handkerchief mask to protect his throat had a loaded 22 rifle in the car because he had been robbed of $300 three weeks before. Now, you look at this situation, you hear about this situation and go, well, that's just common sense. I mean, common sense tells you this guy has the intent to commit a crime. And that's certainly what the police thought, right? And, and we, 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 what we do is we weigh all these facts, the, the motor... Not the motor running, the covered plates, the handkerchief mask, the sunglasses, and the, and the rifle, right? You all those things together say this is something bad that's about to go down. And so you say, well, they'd be a fool. They'd be a fool not to see it. Well, it's not unlike a lot of things in our life. Isn't that correct? We're faced with scenarios in which we find ourselves in which uh, maybe a couple things are just off and maybe a little red flag goes up. And in many situations, there's many red flags that go up because there's too many things that are wrong. But what happens? Well, if you're not wise, and if you're not trusting yourself, what you'll do is you'll cave into your people-pleasing ten your people -pleasing tendencies to say, 
I don't want to be thought of as a bad person. I'll, I'll choose to see the best in everything, and I'll, I'll, I'll press on. I'll move forward. Or, um, or you just, um, you don't want to confront the situation. You don't want to confront the problem because you don't want to be that guy or that girl, right? Um, you don't, you don't ultimately down deep inside, maybe inherently you don't trust yourself at all. And maybe you've grown up and around people who say who you're, that you're wrong all the time and that your judgment is always questionable. Therefore you can't be trusted and that you're having to live with that. So you never, you know, you might, you find, might find yourself in a long string of bad decisions because you've been told you can't trust yourself, but you need to learn to take charge and do just that. When the red flags, flags pop up, you need to pay attention to them because the older you get, the more you realize that the, the facts are in front of you the whole time and you made a decision to not act on them. You made a decision not to believe that your senses were, were correct and you've got to change that. Otherwise, you're going to have to deal with consequences, like I said, that are either at best temporary or at worst permanent. Okay, there. The, uh, believe me, there's um, there's been many times in my life I can look back and I go, why why did I move forward on something when all the things you know, either together or separately told me this was not right? It's called being human. It's called being human. It's called having a lapse in judgment. Everybody does it, no matter how much you know, no matter how much you plan, no matter how wise you are. Uh, there's always going to be times when it still happens, but it needs to happen less and less as time goes on. Otherwise, you'll find yourself in water of your own boiling. Pay attention to that. Trust your own judgment. Don't let anybody talk you into going against your own intuition and your own senses. You know, because sometimes they are just as stark as this. And... Um, and it doesn't need to be that way, you know, and, and you get better about it, I think, as you get to be older, or at least you should be. And of course, this man sitting in front of the bank was 50 years old, just like I am sitting in front of the bank right now. But my motor is not running. I'm not wearing a mask. I don't have a rifle in my car. So I think I have a pretty good alibi. BioLife is right behind me, and I need to get to my appointment right now. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's meant something to you. If you have, hit the, hit the thumbs up button. Please subscribe to my channel. Share this with somebody that um, that might need to hear it. And um, make sure you see the description box below. Have a great day, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.